So the Yeah, yes. What shash is the East Russia? So he answered. For half of that, the who bats Muhammad Farish, then it's a separate. When it comes to the learning of the Torah, you have to understand it. The question is, how do you understand? To feed to you, she'll tackle ex The way you explain it to yourself is how it is. Being the cold, being the light. Means so, she'll call Echa Torah Mukudesha. There's something everybody himself. In other words, <laughs> that when a person learns Torah, he can learn well, he's learning well, he enjoys it. He has to ask the question to the sub, is it ever? It's nice. Maybe you're Magala Punan and you have no political problem, but here you're learning Torah. And you think you're doing well, and you really you figure out you got something there. But is it ever? That's not a good ever. Is it Russia? Is it ever? If it's not an ever, and you're convincing yourself, then you think you're going to get open and not open. The Magala put him like that, so they come in. Did you not ever? It's not only the one that dares in the Torah, when you're teaching it to others or you're on the radio for yourself. You're learning the kind of life. You're learning the kind of life. You have to ask your question at the end. You've got to pull yourself back. If you're learning the Torah and say, look, her brings me a lot of love. You're a good one. If, I, if I'm not saying the end of me too, I'm a farish end of as much as I can. It's a nice thought, it's a nice idea. Well, let's try. I mean, you can say it's a try, it's a nice idea. But the question is... Is No. It says a lot. Don't kill I guess what it means. Ah, yeah. When you learn Gemara, Siyat and Shmaya, leave it up to me. You learn the Gemara that it should come out straight. That's right. Comes out straight. Someone is Megala Hasidus, Hasidu, so that's not, <coughs> this is not talking about that or this is talking about that? I'm going to answer you. Is it Derek or Hasidus? Derek or Kabbalah, Derek or whatever it is. That's why when they, when they learn, they're all excited because they, they're in with the buzzword. So they feel they're doing Emes Lamita Lefidi Hasidus of the buzzword. Whatever it would be. Wait, the the, the guy was the London. Wow, when I say now, it fits in with what kind of lady's uh, conceptual idea of how to solve a problem. But I, therefore, I know what I'm saying here it fits in with how to solve a problem. So, so who whatever system I have. But it has to fit in that you're feeling that's Emma Islamita. 
I made a man say me to maybe the Hasid is his offer, that's a different story. But in your own world, you have to ask yourself, okay, who's that Miss Lamita? I'm only saying this for you, Miss Lamita. You solve a problem. You can say this part part is okay. You gotta say, you have to say it. But is this Emma's I guess my Russian Shiva, if he gave a, uh, a, a, a purple shield, and I asked him, uh, he had a cash in there, he asked the cash in there, he asked and I asked him at the end, there would be Paskin that way. Paskin. He had another 80 hours of hard work. It was 40 hours for Pereshia. What does she need 80 hours? Much Another dimension. You have to pull yourself back. The old Samus Amita, but Samus Amita, the Paschal, requires a greater depth and responsibility. So this is losing all of my bills, talking on that level. No. Paschal is talking on that level. Why do you bring that Mashkiach of, uh, of Levis? It's because he says, it's not for the rabbi, it's for you. When you really? learn what, was, again, was when you learn on Paskin, not what Paskin is doing. I just told you another dimension. When you learn whatever you learn, you have to ask one question. Why? Because you have to ask one question. Otherwise, you're a gallop on Mishnah Kala. I heard you have the Zoom City, man. Right? Mm-hmm. The mate, ah, the guy's a gallop on Mishnah Kala. can't say it, he could say it. How does that fit in with I am part of the title? <coughs> How do you reconcile that? Oh, it's not just a possibility. You can say I'm learning a possibility. Yeah. And learning a lot open your mind and open up a new things and new ideas. Oh, explore it. <coughs> explore it. You have a right to explore, right to learn and grow. <coughs> but then, when, you, when you're doing things, you have to know, you're out of way. Is this Emma Slamita, or I believe in the Dharma, or is it real? And maybe there's a stepping stone for further. You have a right. Let me stop you. But you have to know, when you get to the conclusion, and you're accepting it, when you accept it, even for yourself, whatever shot it is, it's an Emma Slamita. And if you think it's Emma Slamita, and it's not, <laughs> you check it, if you check it out with someone well, you like Shaz Khan, like, how do you check it out? Someone, if you check it out with someone big and they say, ah, oh, it makes sense. So then what do you, what do you do? You still... What they did was, in Europe, they, like you said, they talked to other people. What they said, they checked it out. The people that saw And what did the, all the rabbis do? Maybe, or, or all the stories of all the girls, they had a thing, they come up with everybody. They go to you, they go to Marty, and they keep on checking out to see, test it out. I mean, Zoom always told me that uh, people would have uh, whatever terror they had, 20, 30 pieces or 50. And they were working all the night, they know that when you go to Oilam and MS, Like the Rabbi Yosha Be'er Salavetia, <coughs> only has a certain amount of addition, he kept on repeating and working on it. Then he remembered him, he had his 50 addition, he kept on working and working to make it. And this time he tell when he broke the man, it won't be, the God upon the church, look at what's up, he will stand up and, and say his piece in the Rabbi. <coughs> well, the point that I want to get at is, I get it to finish that. When you learn, you're always made missing oil. But that's my little bit. What I really want to say is, Rachman Ali Boboy, God wants you. So he said, when, you, when the shofar, there's two ways. It's Pashat or Pashat. We said, we brought the thing. If you were down, we said, that's the right thing. Because they bring a Zerah Shavah to you, according to the Pesach. You have to get to a point of MS in your life. Why do you do what you do? Why are you learning Torah? What do you, what is your Tikkun Oilam? 
You have to face the endless, the reality. <coughs> Just like you face the reality in <coughs> learning. When you go over a piece of learning, you go, you have all hakiris and you develop it. Kama, alachas, kama, vakama. This is a mistake in learning. <coughs> okay? You got a point of terrorism for this person. It's a way of checking balance. You know, this person. But in your own life, in your own belief, if you make a mistake, or even error, what kind of life will be? How are you going to cover old terror? How are you going to cover the new dimension of, of Rosh Hashanah? <coughs> to shoot me the word very hard, MS on Nito, on your heart, to know why and what you're doing. And if it's off, to change yourself, to be more MS. Because Pashat means MS. And MS bring to Rabbeinu Yoyna is Yisod in the Nefesh. What are the Yisodos in the Nefesh and the soul is what? MS. But again, it has to be your MS. Your MS doesn't mean my MS and your MS not mine. It has to, if you, you're responsible in your soul to straighten yourself to have MS Lamita. Not my MS and your MS, there's only one MS. But it means that you have to hear the Emmet. Not the rabbi hears it. You, know, you have to, the swar of the Torah has to make sense to you. That you say, Moshe Emmet for Torah, so Emmet. There's an Emmet that you have to come and see the Torah. You can't say, that's Emmet for that. But I got a different Emmet. I got a different set of beliefs and values. That's junk. That's Lord You gotta come down, but you gotta come down. Mary Shemin, what's MS on Not of course I'm not. Not to solve the problem, you solve it, but it's an MS. You can write about it, you can write it in a book. Write differently, why not? You can give a shear. But again, you have to pull back. And MS is in Chicago, Homer, then Calvo Homer, on your heart. That's what Rosh Hashanah is about, according to those old Russian. That we reach MS to understand the atheism, where you're at and what you're doing. And why you're doing it. Why, 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 why? <coughs> in, in a way to make a game. Change seats. Make believe. <coughs> make believe. <coughs> you're the doctor change role. And this person, like calling you, now comes to you and say, look, this is me. Is it MS that I'm doing or not? Is, how can you help me? What can I, how can you change me? You have to figure out looking at yourself like another self and check this, check this other guy out, not you, this other guy, which is really you, you know, what, he, what he said. You check it, is it MS, not MS, wait, think about it. I brought down on Shabbos <coughs> the story of Absalom. Absalom was born <coughs> under certain circumstances, beyond his control. Like some people are born without a father, a yosel, or a bad environment, whatever. I'm not in a bad life, right? <coughs> but you decide you want to change. Absalom was born as an Eshe Shapasta, coming from a Zibit that wasn't holy. That was what? <coughs> About time, a governor Mela had a guy run after this time. Time and time. <coughs> so what's he going to do? He's born that way. He has these meagles and what's he going to do? He looks at the Torah and hates it. He hates to be a Nazi. To stay away. To have, to have precious. To have Kedusha. <coughs> to be Ayur Hashem. <coughs> so that's what he does. He becomes a Nazi over. What happens? What happens? say, that he was Zoilel Kedusha and so then Kedushas. It was really then so, so it wasn't the, the dinner of the 13 year old for, for, uh, for uh, 13 and 3 months, but he was in Kedusha, he was a Zoilel the Sova. How do we know that? You know, when he cut his hair, he took the gold from the treasury and lay You saw he had diamonds. Now Shmuel Hanovi said what? There's a guy without a bow moon, so he fooled himself with who Shmuel Hanovi thinks that he's okay, he's a high life. Yeah. And then what happened? And then what happened? 
everybody says, hey, you are, you're much better than uh, than Dovranbala. You're pure and holy, let's get rid of the old man, and let's put the you in it. Everybody believes in Shimon ben Gera, who is the Rebbe of Shlomo Mel, says, he's a big and better. You have to help clients with this guy, the old man, you gotta get rid of him. You gotta put in uh, Avshon. <coughs> he's a tzaddik, he's a great person. <coughs> and then to agree that what? That Avshon's ready to kill his father. Is that possible? Maybe we check again. It's exactly Ben Sarah. He's going to go out and kill people. He's going to What's happening? So we have this conflict of what's happening. And then when he gets caught, on the head of the tree, he sees Dan below his tree. He says, it's better. That's exactly the Ben Sarah. It's better to kill him when he's Zakai. Then being Chayev, and at that point, he did Shuva, and therefore he went to Zakai, and 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 he went to he thought he was about Gaiva. He thought he was uh, about Taiva. He went to uh, what a chance. But he thought he was doing the same shit. How are we going to fool us? So I explained. We saw Salanta brings down that <coughs> it says, a Ben Sora murder you have to kill. And you kill him. Laman Yerushma. Call you all the Jewish call you all the Jewish people should sit and feel that. Yes, the Pasha, hey, now in the Torah of Murray, that makes sense. So a Pasha in the Torah of Rich and I want to do it. How could it be? How could it be? Maybe get a carbon and we'll get, we'll get your Shemayim for Klaas. That's the answer. That every time you die, the Torah of Murray, and that will be shaken up and be beautiful. That's the story. You read Sir Ben Sarah, and I just tell you over about Hashem. It shakes everybody up. <coughs> it shakes everybody up. So I try to explain the Ben Sarah, but I've shown you more modern terms, and I wanted to show where the Goyim are off, like this guy, uh, Robin, Anthony Robbins, who use, and we should have a computer and we have a different view. Naturally, how do you do things in order to change? So the Ramban says, what was the Avera of the Ben Sora? He missing really nothing way to move. He didn't know any traitors. He didn't real derisive different things. But what did he know wrong? He missed the Dusha. Mission to be Dovah uh, Hashem. And over at Hashem, he missed the real positive quality the man the first time he was just missing that. So then what did he do? He figured I'll be a I'll be a I'll get Fadosh, I'll be I'll be But the difference is that what? That what he tried to do what did he try to do? He tried to move the emotion of Taiva to to, to kosher to the Taiva in the sense of moving one feeling to another feeling. He goes, Taiva and Daiva, now he's going to do precious or such, he's trying to do it. Except he forgot one story. <coughs> a story of <coughs> the Gemara tells us that, uh, the Gemara tells us that a Nazir came to one of the rabbis, and he said, I never saw a Nazir in my life that's like you. What did Nazir say? He said that, he looked himself in the water, he saw such beautiful, uh, beautiful Lopez, beautiful hair. Yeah. He said, wow, Russia, why are you getting Hanor on something that's not your world? He decided to be a Nazi. He told himself a Russia. <coughs> he said, that's the problem. The problem is that Absalom didn't look at the Tathos. What's the Tathos of Naziris? The Tathos of Naziris, although he was what? Was in order to remove Gaiva and get rid of Taiva. But as he was doing his years, he was getting tight and tight up, more and more. He was Zerlel Kedusha and Solvei Apricius. <coughs> so he lost his tafas. <coughs> so he said that <coughs> a lot of people, 
when they're involved. <coughs> and they, they lose their tachlis. What are you doing this for? Why are you learning Torah? You You're getting Hanoah, have some Hanoah of the Torah, <coughs> maybe. But why are you doing it? Because the purpose of Torah at the end is what? What's the tachlis of Torah? Chuv and mice and tape? Is your Torah bringing you to chuv and mice and tape? Are you now more of a Yerusha mind, <coughs> more Baal Tshuva, accepting more than more uh, <coughs> Maisim Torah than ever before? Or you become now, I'm learning Torah, don't bother me, I can't do Chesed, don't bother me, and uh, uh, the fact that I'm learning Torah is enough, <coughs> Tshuva, I'm more Yerusha mind. Check it. The way of test. So he said that, the name of Hanani Sin, that at Parashi, I'll see, uh, should better forget me and do it. Because of that, at the end, because uh, Shalom Pasha tried in some way, because of that, at the end he had a supposed to be able to do two. A little late then. He said, Bin Karach at the end, a little late. Had he known, he would have done so. They gave him a and Ganem and uh, Shalom. <coughs> uh, and as he was dying with his hair there. What's the secret? He said, what do you have to explain? What do you explain? <coughs> the basic person is always the I, Tai himself. Since man has Bechira, he has to go out of his way to make a decision, a Hachlata, that whatever he does is going to be what? Hashem or Hashem Shalom. If you don't have that Hachlata, what happens? It's yourself. Yourself is again Tai and Oyla Mazda, a guy, whatever, kid. So unless you make a positive step. So really, what is meant by Rosh Hashanah? Maybe Rosh Hashanah is what? To, before to make a half to change. That you need to guide and take your change. If you don't grab these, whatever it is, these proper things of being a nausea or whatever it may be, or learning, and you don't grab it with a half and always work with it. Why am I doing it? What am I doing it for? Is it producing my goal of getting close to Hashem? Is it producing of Yuris Hashem? Is it producing me to do tshuva? Is it producing me to have <coughs> to have mice and tell you <coughs> You don't direct those emotions of learning that the hefs of Hanoa Satar or the hefs of or whatever you're doing and the pleasure you're doing you don't have the direction so you lost your goal. But then you become the I <coughs> or I, and you become a, a nausea, that's, that's really a, a zoylel, a kedusha, and, and a sove appreciates. <coughs> and that's what it all is about, we mentioned, <coughs> the idea of, of preparing before Rosh Hashanah. That's we have the time now to check, why do you do what you do? <coughs> now, why do you do it? <coughs> What's the seed more ever as who knows? And yeah, you made my parents, your parents were just running you. You this, that, you're hippie, you're fine, you know that. But now why? Why are you doing it? <coughs> so you mentioned that you have to check it out. And if you're not in the right line, what do you gotta do? You make yourself in the right line. You direct yourself. You change yourself. And here's what comes MS. The means of MS has to come. We said MS is the messiest. And then there's your picture and dream. Don't find a good picture you can see with reality. Emes <coughs> Lamita. And this is the work of of Musa, of Cheshman and Nefesh, that people have to do in the month of <coughs> of Mosa Yegiyah, Maisik Maisa. This is the Maisa. The Maisa. And they did some work that happened. Obama His chesed. Get close to Hashem. The love of God. Get close to Hashem. Forget about what you look like to other people, look like to yourself. You gotta check out why you do and where you are going. So you gave an answer. <coughs> Put yourself on the stand, the Yom Hadin, <coughs> and have all the Yates of Horror and the, and the Sultan come there and go against you. No second of Gemara, you have the pros and the cons. Take yourself and have the pros and cons about yourself. <coughs> Maybe he's not the Shem Shamayim. Maybe he's a bum. Maybe he's only one of the guys with the title of God.
Whenever Rachman Aliba boy, God wants our heart. We have a chance, we have a schus of being in Eretz Israel, a schus of having the wonderful gift of being in Yeshiva, learning Torah. We have a good the chus that we have a, that we are. We have seldom we have the gift of having free choice and, and having the wonderful gift that we that we are the children of Hashem, that we are Jews, we know about Rosh Hashanah, we have all these wonderful gifts that God gives us in order for us to succeed. If we deliver all of them. When you have to do Rahmana Libaway, God wants what? But you have to check your heart. Here's my heart. Here's my heart is half Whatever you want, God, I don't care. Whatever you want. I'll do that with I'll bend to everything. You press me, I'll bend. Under pressure, I'll bend. It's also good. And now we want MS. Where are you? We learn a sugya, eon, and all kinds of kashas, all kinds of snakes. Is Rashi right? Is the Rambam right? And all kinds of questions. Why don't you use that same scrutiny on your own self? Not on your friend, on yourself. Hmm. Something to think about. Hmm. Something to think about. Shem gives the strength. You should have time. You gotta spend time. Make a cheshman and nefesh on your soul. Not the regular one. Why? Put suffix into yourself. How can you change yourself? What can you do to be a better person? You got to pray. He said,